Tubeless road tyres are getting better each year, more brands are having a go at making them, and their quality has improved immeasurably since the first tubeless road tyres rolled onto the market several years ago. Here are six of the best. If you like our selection of tyres, then like this video. If you don't, then you know where the comment section is. Subscribe to see more from us and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post a video. Before we get to the tyres, we should just point out that we will only include products that we have actually reviewed in our six of the best series. Why? Well, we think that it's the best way to tell you what the best products are. We can't exactly form a valid opinion of a tyre off the back of looking at a picture. The tyres that we feature here have been ridden and reviewed by our independent team, so you know it's advice you can trust. We'll start off with one of the most anticipated tubeless tyres of the last few years. I know that's not exactly saying much, but this is Continental's GP5000 TL. The GP5000 was launched as a successor to the massively popular GP4000 S2. With the new line came a tubeless option, Continental's first for the road race bikes. It shares all the same features as the non-tubeless version with updated black chili rubber compound, Vectron breaker, active comfort technology, and laser grip. One key difference is the casing layout. There are three layers of 60 TPI, that is threads per inch, that make up Conti's 180 TPI claim. That's compared with three layers of 110 TPI for a 330 TPI claim with the regular clincher GP5000. Now, personally, I've always found Continental's TPI measurements a little misleading. Their tyres are certainly not as supple as some of the tyres in this list. They have a casing of like 320 TPI and that's in a single layer. Uh, so just don't be surprised when these tyres are a little less comfortable than you'd expect. Fitting was mostly painless, but a few combinations did require a tyre lever because of the tight fit. And while a regular track pump worked with some setups, a special tubeless inflator was needed with others. Once fitted, we found excellent air retention with only occasional pressure checking required. On the road, it's possible to detect a small improvement in traction, especially noticeable in tricky conditions with a bit of dampness or grime on the road surface. They feel sure-footed through the corners where you can really lean them into the corner with the new laser etched shoulder patterns doing a really good job. Continental makes some impressive claims with its new tire, including a 17% rolling resistance improvement over the outgoing GP4000. Clearly some lab testing would be needed to verify these improvements. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a tire testing lab, but the excellent bicycle rolling resistance website has tested the tire and found that the tubeless GP5000, um, it offers low rolling resistance and it's lower than the regular clincher version too. Now, overall, this is an excellent all-round road, training, and race tire. The wait for Continental to do a tubeless tire is over, and thankfully, it was worth it. From one of the newest tubeless-ready road tires to one that really paved the way for road tubeless, the Schwalbe Pro 1 TLE is up there with the best race tires on the market. Grippy, fast, rolling, and simple to fit with or without a tube, they're a great choice for your race bike. As part of its top-end Evo line, the Pro Ones use Schwab's triple compound, which is soft and much grippier than the one-star compound found on the standard non-tubeless one. Chucking the bike into tight corners or roundabouts at speed shows the level of grip on offer in both the wet and dry conditions. Plus, the tires really give a direct feel of the road thanks to the suppleness of that rubber. Schwalbe's micro skin is a high tensile microfabric which is vulcanized together with the rubber and the carcass to envelop the entire tire. This seals it for tubeless use by reducing the porousness of the sidewall to keep the sealant in and also increasing puncture protection. When fitted and full of sealant, they do a decent job of retaining their pressure, especially after the first ride has spun the sealant constantly around the inside of the tire to find all of those little nooks and crannies. Running them at 100 psi, they'd lose about 20 psi a week. Overall, the current Schwalbe Pro ones are still right up at the top of the heap. Simple to fit, grippy, and fast rolling, but they are increasingly surrounded by some very good competition. The 
The Michelin Power Road Tubeless Tire offers a fantastic blend of low weight, good grip, impressive ride feel, and tubeless readiness. In this 28 millimeter spec, it's impressively comfortable too, and it's slightly easier to fit than the rather tight 25s. We reviewed the non-tubeless version of the Power Road and found it to be everything you want in a race tire. It's light but puncture resistant, grippy but smooth rolling, and available in all the sizes a racer might want. The good news is that the 28 mm version is much the same, confidence inspiring, supple and grippy. The casing comprises four 120 TPI layers, which is three more than the tubed version gets. This boosts both the protection levels and uh, the air tightness of the carcass itself. It also has an Aramid Protect Plus puncture protection layer and a stronger sidewall than the old power competition tire. These changes inevitably result in a weight gain at 297 grams. The tubeless version is 39 grams heavier than the tubed one, although the overall weight is partially offset by the lack of tube and then partially on offset again by the sealant. So, Despite the slightly higher weight, the Power Road tubeless feels light-footed and fast, and feel and feedback are truly excellent. The Power Road tubeless is a highly impressive alternative to Schwalbe and Continental, and it's at a really attractive price. Now, we could have picked any of the three Corsa G2.0 tubeless tires. The standard Corsa TLR is a cracking road tyre. The Corsa Speed is stupidly fast for time trial duties, but we thought that the Corsa Control would be the best one to feature here, as it is arguably the best for general road riding. This is designed as a very fast wet weather option. Grip is very, very good in the wet and the supple casing gives a really nice ride feel. Tubeless setup was easy and the tyres performed well on faster rides. For a standard British year of weather, that's a great balance. Now this is actually a tyre that I tested and I can tell you that as tyres come boxed flat, you're going to want to put an inner tube in there for the initial fitting before you attempt setting them up tubeless. After a few days with the tubes in to give the tyres shape, I installed them with stand sealant. Setting them up was easy with the tyres just seating with a track pump. Vittoria has stuck with its 4C graphene compound, apparently making some minor tweaks. The control version seems to be a more robust tyre than the standard Corsa G2.0. It may be pure luck, but the tyres have remained cut free, which is impressive given the state of some of the roads. Our set also suffered no punctures, though again, how much of this is down to the thicker tread and the addition of the K-reinforced casing, and how much is down to luck, we can't really say. They certainly got ridden over a fair share of gravel and hit enough glass to give them a very good test. If you're after a set of fast and grippy tyres for wet weather, or you want posh tubeless tyres for winter, this is a very good option. The plush ride, confidence in the rain, and the robust compound make the Vittoria Corsa Control TLR G2.0 easy to recommend, if not to say. The S-Works Turbo Rapid Air, developed for the pros, offers really easy fitting and a very good performance. The tyre was designed to provide lower rolling resistance and better cornering than the turbo tubular tyre that the pros were using. Specialized claims it's the fastest, lightest, and most puncture resistant tyre it has ever made. That's a little academic now, as specialized sponsored pros of the Coinit Quickstep and Bora Hansgrohe teams well, they're using tube type clinchers for their races. Still, if you like tubeless tires and you want something from Specialized, these are fast, grippy, and relatively painless to fit. Now, we couldn't have a six of the best without throwing you a slight curveball at the end. While we've mostly been looking at road and race tires, this 38 mm all road tire from Vittoria is perfect for the growing number of riders that like to mix their road rides with some off-road sections. The Terreno Zero is the slickest tire in Vittoria's gravel range with the Terreno Dry, Terreno Mix and Terreno Wet models offering increased tread patterns for more off-road and muddy conditions. All of them use a graphene compound in the rubber, something only Vittoria uses in its tires, claiming that it's this revolutionary material that allows for natural material barriers of rubbers to be removed so there is no compromise between speed, grip, durability, and puncture resistance. The Terreno Zero also features a 120 TPI construction with reinforced casing. Vittoria admits that that might add weight to the tire, but claims it improves strength, resistance, and puncture protection. Real world experience would suggest that all of this is true. 
The tread pattern is inspired by Vittoria's top of the range Corsa road tire with a wide grooved slick central tread and a slightly angled hexagonal knobs on the side. On the road, they're not the fastest tread-free gravel tires around, not that they're necessarily slow, but they rumble along rather than skipping down the road compared with other slick gravel tires. The thickness of the rubber of the central tread is the possible culprit here. The plus side to this is that they're incredibly robust, so happily take crappy tarmac and potholes in their stride, romp over packed gravel, and they perform far better than you might expect on other rough surfaces. If your road rides veer more towards the adventure side of things, then these could be the tubeless road tires for you. Well, that's our list of six of the best tubeless road tires. What have we missed? Have we missed your favorite off the list? Tell us why it simply needs to be considered. Remember to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more from us. We'll see you in the next one.